Hi everyone, my name is Kimberly from the Westmont Public Library and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own Easy Sew felt flower petal. To get started, here's what you'll need to make the felt flowers. Scissors, scraps of felt. Uh, this is especially a good project if you already have a remnant bin at home. Um, and lastly, just a needle and thread. To start off, you're going to cut strips of felt that are approximately one inch wide uh, and about seven to eight inches long. After you have your strip, you're going to begin making your petal shapes. Start at one end of the felt strip and begin, and begin cutting the shapes of petal as you'd like. Um, I'm keeping mine rounded, but you can also make them pointy or even use uh, those special scissors with the patterns cut into them to kind of give each petal its own individual shape. You're going to want to keep them um, about as the same size as possible and try to keep them as consistent as possible. Uh, ultimately, when the uh, petal shape kind of comes together, it's not really going to matter, so it's okay if some are a little bit bigger and some are smaller. You're going to continue your petal cuts all the way until the very end of the strip. You can even cut off a little bit of the extra there. And then once you're done, it'll look like this. Now here's where you're going to start the sewing portion of the project. Uh, after threading your needle, uh, you're going to want to tie a small little knot at the very end uh, with some additional uh, thread that's going to hang off the back. Uh, this will make uh, the pulling and tying at the very end a lot easier. You're going to want to begin your stitching uh, by starting at the very bottom of the second petal shape that you cut out um, approximately one inch from the end of your felt strip. And from there, you're really just going to begin weaving the needle and thread in and out of the fabric uh, about a half an inch apart. Um, it really doesn't have to be perfect at this point. Uh, the idea is just to create enough space so that once you pull the thread through, it'll tighten. Um, this is just to create the line um, that's going to kind of guide the flower shape. Also going to want to make sure that you don't pull the thread too hard or too tight as you're weaving through to avoid accidentally pulling it through your starting point. Even though you have the knot at the very end, um, the felts and the thread are pretty thin so uh, it can easily poke through if you're not careful with it. Once you reach the end of the strip, uh, you're actually going to want to take the two ends of the total strip and move them together as if you were going to tie a bracelet together. And then from there, once the ends are lined up, um, you're going to actually finish stitching uh, right into that inch point where you started. Uh, once the ends are lined up, uh, you're going to actually want to start, uh, this is where you're going to start pulling and tightening the whole petal shape, um, leaving a little bit of room at the end of both um, ends of thread. You're going to want to meet them together and kind of tie a knot and kind of pull forward just like that. 
As I mentioned before, you're going to want to try really hard not to pull too hard through, um, which is definitely something I did when I was practicing with a few of these. It's really frustrating to make it that far and then have to kind of start all over again. Then once your flower has taken the shape you really like, you're going to take the two ends of the pulled thread and just tighten the knot. Um, just like that when you loop through. Uh, what you can do then using the excess thread is you can actually sew it through the base uh, a few more times to add a little bit more security. If you want your petals to kind of hang forward a little bit more, this is also a good way to add a little bit more you know, separation. And then when everything has been tied off and is secure, you can uh, go ahead and then cut the excess thread from the felt. And then there's your little flower. This is a really great project for a range of age groups because you can really make it as easy or as detailed as you'd like. Um, you can add pipe cleaners to make them uh, stems or sew them to headbands or hair ties. Um, if you have beads available, you can actually sew them in for additional details. For uh, another project, I actually wove and uh, sewed some uh, additional chain to the back to make this necklace. Um, there's really a lot of different ways you can make this your own, which makes it such a great project. Um, thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested for more programs like this.